Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. This one's quite a quick tutorial, basically just giving you an overview of the Ken Burns uh, effect, which is built into Final Cut Pro 10, allowing you to really easily and quickly create pans or zoom effects uh, with your static or moving footage. Now, I've got a clip here with the effect already applied. We just play back. You can see we've got this slow zooming in into this clip. Now, how do we create this? Well, if we go ahead and enable this new clip, which basically has no effects and filters applied to it as of yet, the way we access Ken Burns is through these configuring tools. We've got transform, distort, and crop. Now, what we want to do is use the crop tool. And you can see that we've got a few options under crop. We can trim, crop, or Ken Burns, and that's the one we're after today. So let's go ahead and click Ken Burns. Now, what this does is it creates a start and end point, basically allowing you to choose where you start looking and where you finish looking. Let's select this clip. Make sure we Ken Burns the right clip. Now, we can grab these corners, scale it up and move it around. We can also do the same to the star as well. And move that around and that's just going to really quickly and easily create an animation from the start of the clip to the end of the clip. Now up here are a couple of buttons. Uh, one is a switch button which basically switches the start and end point. So at the moment you can see it's going to start out wide and zoom into this cropped area here. Or we could press the switch tool and it's going to start zoomed in and zoom out. Now, if we want to preview out this uh, effect, we've actually got a preview button up here. If we press that, that is going to that's going to preview just that region. It actually loops as well, so it's really handy um, just to see that effect that we're trying to create. If we switch out, because I actually like the zoom in effect, and I'm going to scale this up so it's Sorry, let me just, what I want to do is start off big by grabbing this corner here. You can scale from anywhere. And I don't want to zoom in quite so much. You basically can click on the green box or the red box to define which region you're manipulating and moving around. And I want the focus to be on these, uh, the hammers on the piano keys. So now, if we play back... It creates a really nice smooth motion. Now, if we decide that we don't like it, then over in the inspector, which you can access by clicking on this button here, you can see that on the crop uh, sections. So there's actually an arrow here and we can choose the reset parameter and that will get rid of all the changes we've made. But if we're happy with the changes then just go ahead and press done. And there you've done it. You've really quickly and easily created uh, a zoom in without having to use the transform tool which obviously involves uh, manual keyframing. This is obviously a far more efficient way of creating this finished look and it works great on photographs as well. Uh, if you have lots of photographs, then you can obviously copy and paste the Ken Burns effect using um, Command C, and then choose another a target clip and press Command Shift V, and you can choose to uh, copy over the crop thing, the um, crop effect, and just press paste. So that's all. Just a quick tutorial. That's how you use Ken Burns, and hopefully you can use it to create more dynamic videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon in a brand new tutorial. Also remember to like and comment because it really helps um, share the videos and stuff. And also you can press the share button because that is the intended result with that button. Uh, and I'll see you guys soon.